Now that we've used picture frame to bring in our blueprints of our toy truck here, let's do some uh, drawing. Well, the first thing I like to do is I like to create individual layers for each component so that later on I can turn them off and not have them um, interfere with object snap, which can get in your way. So first off, let's do the right side and let's do the wheel. Now you notice we don't have anything to really grasp onto here for object snap so Rhino has some nice tools to help us with that. One, if you were doing a circle, would be to do the three-point circle. So we'll pick three points on the circumference. And that's pretty close. And let's go back. Since we have our side view over the center, we want to move it out now. So let's do the front. Pick it. Do a move. And let's disable snap because this is not quite any at the end of the uh, end point there. So let's go to about here. And let's do an extrude now. And eyeball that to about here. Now if you knew the actual dimension, you could just enter that. Okay. Let's look at perspective mode. Looks pretty good. Let's cap it. Okay, so now we, in effect, have made a wheel. Now, how I would s lay this out or proceed is I would um, mirror off the center line, so I got both wheels on the back axle, and then I would copy both wheels forward to the front axle. Let's continue on and uh, draw the front windshield. Upon examining it, we can see that the left vertical and the right vertical are symmetrical, so we can draw one and mirror that. And the top and the bottom, we'll have to draw those individually. So probably let's start on the right side here and blow up the right view and start our line. I have a separate layer set for windshield. And this line's our most crucial of the whole windshield. I want to only have about four control points. And by dragging the control points, I can get a pretty good curve. So when we first out, okay. Drag it over. Let's turn off snap. How's that looking? Looks about right. And let's go to the front viewpoint port. And let's drag our curve over, working our way from the bottom. With shift on, we have ortho. So we'll just do it straight across drag. You have to adjust a bit here. And let's zoom in. Yeah, a good start. Let's zoom in and make sure that we've got it just as I said, this is your most important curve of the windshield. Okay. Looks good. This guy can go out just a little bit. This guy could go down. side here. Alright, that looks great. Let's draw control points and let's mirror that over. We're going to turn on snap because we want to be able to have our center of our mirror this plane. Okay. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to draw the bottom curve and the top curve and the easiest way to do that is to draw it in the front. You can see from over here that we have our curves are aligned with the windshield. So we're going to grab the endpoints. End. And let's turn on. So we have a full viewport. I have uh, O snap on, so we're going near there, in there. We'll adjust that curve in just a moment. Okay, 
So the next thing we want to do is we want to drag the control point for this curve in the middle back. So we turn on control points. Having shift down and, and switching to this other viewport, we can drag it and get it in line. Okay, it's good there. And here it needs to come up just a tad. Looks pretty good for that one. Let's get to catch the other one. By having shift down, we get ortho in the top viewport, so we're just moving it horizontally. That looks pretty good. Alright, so let's rebuild these curves to get rid of some extra control points. And I like rebuild curve non uniform. Select all four. Okay, done. Edge surf for our surface. Pretty nice looking guy.